Morning everyone, it's a cold one today. This morning it's full steam ahead. We've got the arable boys coming back in to get some muck out. Um, hopefully it's not gonna rain so we can get plenty, plenty um, of muck to the fields because if it does rain, we're gonna have to put a stop to it. But yeah, let's, let's crack on and get this morning done. Straw blowers are out. Let's get this straw, straw used up. Cold when the cow muck's freezing. <laughs> oh, I've just remembered we're gonna have farm star here to uh, fix this mixer mixer wagon along with silo king so yeah I better do a mix aren't I? it's a bit cold so I've left it to heat the glow plugs up a bit oh it started we were having trouble we were having trouble with this uh, 7530 the other day but I'm thinking that it was the um, Leaving the, the, the way clock on for the mixer. So we've disconnected it the last few days and it started fine. So I don't know why it started um, just going downhill like that. Maybe the battery is getting a bit depleted, but um, yeah, we're up and rocking and rolling anyway. I ain't got to get jump leads out, which is a good start in the morning. <laughs> it's for us anyway. Yeah, so I'll go and get a bale of straw and get a, get a mix all started up change of plan not doing the mix anymore my dad has finally decided he's got enough meal so after the big panic that farm star will come in and we wouldn't have enough mix uh, I'm back to opening the gates yeah jump back on this turn it off on her oh well you will have got it nice and warmed up remember to take the electric out though I don't want that battery issue again There we go, saving the environment. So, just letting the straw blow man in. So we just had another change of plan. We were going to muck out um, a path that we've got that we call the path. And now my dad's just turned around and, and changed to the one that we've just put the straw in. So, yeah, things are going really well with decision making today. I'm really, really not happy. I'm just going to shift the 210. It's a good job back window opens. Not that I can see much with the trailer behind me, like, but I'm going to move it so that we can <clears throat> move some car around in a minute. Look at that shitty trailer, disgusting. My god, it's so difficult working with him. Um, so I've just set all the tractors up to put move the cattle around into a certain pen, and then he decided he wants me a different one, which the tractors are all in way. <sighs> Reiterating this point, but I've got to move that tractor that I put in a position <laughs> and then that, and that tractor somewhere completely different. It's not end of world, but it's just annoying when you, you're trying to get on it morning. Right, so hopefully we've got what he wants now and he's not going to change his mind again, but <laughs> there's every opportunity. There we go. Boys here, little boys, big toys. Here they all go. <laughs> Trying to get that gate off, no chance. Four of them. <laughs> oh god. So they got everything moved, and he's got the troughs moved. Got a big class here. <laughs> I carried that gate over there. I think it was heavy. And yeah, we're ready to go. Get all this stuff so sorted. As you can see at that end, that's where we strawed up before my dad decided we were going to muck this end out. So we've not strawed up the rest of the pen. That's why it looks a bit mucky. So yeah, this will all be gone onto this arable farmer's field to make feel healthier more organic matter, fertiliser, basically just cow muck's brilliant for growing crops, vegetables, combinable crops, anything you can think of really, put manure on it, it grows better. That's our 6210R and our 16 ton Bailey trailer, not quite as fancy as uh, the ones that's on the back of the 6250 in the uh, class, but it does the job. 
We like it. So we still have to do it the manual way, because under here, I can't get the bucket under, we are making a mess. So, I'm going to keep busy. So, the boys are back, shovel's down, time to get on the big shovel again. Get some proper muck moved. Whew. My breath though, I think January, we might need a uh, New Year's resolution to uh, get fitter, but... We're all right. Ready? Oh, get out of his way. So we got a big case back in the yard in the Richard Weston trailer, 16 tonner. So they're not getting 16 tonner muck in. Probably like 13, 12, 13 tonner. I thought. It's funny it don't weigh that as heavy as you think it would. Whereas it'll get 16 tonner wheat in it. No bother. few trail loads in here, it's quite thick stuff, to put plenty of straw in to keep them warm when we've done this job, they'll be happy. So we've got farm star here now, come to fix the uh, silo king once and for all, so we've got it all in bits. Hopefully get a bit more adjustment on the ram, get it fixed. So I'm going to leave those guys at it, we've got the Farmstar guy here and the Silo King Cavernaland specialist, um, just looking at what they can do to adjust the, um, the, the hydraulic ram that moves the gear change on the mixer so we can have high and low, uh, low gears. Um, at the minute we've just got low gear so um, yeah, the they're trying to work out between them the uh, the best course of action, but I'm sure they'll, uh, they'll get it sorted for us and we'll be back up and running on full speed. I'll just keep out of their way. They don't need me there. I have got zero input in how to fix that. So I'll just get back to doing a bit of shoveling with the f hand fork, I think. While I'm waiting for these trailers, not much else I can do, can't do a mix. Yeah, I'll get busy. It's a good job there's not smell of vision. So we got some steamy shit. I've often wondered with all the heat that comes off the manure, if you got like a ground source heat bump, run like pipes in the in the floor, in the concrete, and then use that to like heat the house. I think it'd be a good idea that. Any, anybody else think so? If you do, let me know in comments. I like this, they've started backing it into the shed. Making it easier for me. So when you're mucking out, you want to be travelling as little distance as possible. 
I said if you can't cycle your bucket up and down in time so if I can't get my bucket back down to the ground by the time I've got back to the place of the muck if anybody understands what I just said then uh, your trailer's parked too far away oh this is difficult one handed I have got my head cam in, uh, in here but I just don't want anybody to see me wearing it <laughs> So, so yeah, we're just going to carry on with this. We've got most of it done. It's getting towards dinner time. Um, after dinner, we'll have to get this bedded up, let the cows back in, and uh, muck somewhere else out. Sounds like a plan. Uh oh, it's starting to rain now. Um, still got. Four, low, four or five loads to let out of here and uh, yeah I could do we getting it out really so I could do we out this rain hopefully it's just a shower and uh, we can get it all out before we start putting a bit too much mud on the road or any mud on the road um, so yeah fingers crossed it stops in a second tell whoever mugged this out last didn't get the hand fork out I'll show you why we've got all these little red worms and they love to be in really well rotten manure these are like the sort of worms that um, fishermen want absolutely perfect for fishing um, yeah it's just at the side of the side of the shed under this underhang where you can't get the bucket so somebody's been a bit lazy and not fought this out last time but hey ho Got it now. Bye bye worms. So we've not got a great deal left now. Um, that rain sort of turned to sleet and snow. Um, it's not been too bad so we should be alright to keep going. Um, sorry excuse me I'm using my elbow to use a joystick now. Um, so yeah we should, should be able to keep going. At least get this done and maybe another pen. And then call it call it a day hopefully our mix is fixed uh, I'll have to go and check on that in a minute I've been out of the way down here I have no idea what else is going on at farm just what's going on in this little cab so I'll have a look in a second when I get my dinner because I'm getting hungry right so I'll get this shifted up the yard so we can get another trailer in he's here look he's here already so I better hurry up. Let's get the big beast going. Oh yeah. So we'll see farm stars still here. Oh, they are. Can't be fixed yet. They pull it inside to keep a bit warmer. I don't blame them. I've just refueled and had my dinner. Um but I think this rain's setting in now. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to walk over to the straw blower, wherever it is, somewhere there, not got the hand pointing sorted yet, and I'm going to um, straw that pen up, so that them cows have a nice area to lay on, and keep them happy. Happy cows, comfortable cows, everybody's happy when the cows are happy. <laughs> Does it, did I get my point across that I want the cows to be happy? Yeah, good. Right, so here we go. Just that. Revs up. Drop my floor in. And it's blowing it out. It's sucking some power off the tractor as well. So I am just going to go and get another bale. After we've mucked out, we always give the cattle at least at least twice as much straw as what they get usually in the day but most of the time three times so in there in that pen we're going to give them three bales um, and that just gives them a nice like thermal layer to lay on and um, it gives them you need to, need to have like some straw there to soak up the urine and stuff um, that sounds nice doesn't it 
Yeah, and it needs to have plenty of straw to start with because you've got no like base layer or anything. You've not got any sawdust or anything like that to put down. So, just got to put loads of straw in. Got my trusty knife out. Although, I think I need a new Stanley blade in it. We always cut the bands on the uh, side that doesn't have knots. This is what they don't show you about these uh, teagulls and stuff. You've got to put bloody bands out. Somebody needs to make something to automate this process. And I'd pay, I'd pay a fair amount of money, I'd say. It'd save us a lot of time if uh, we didn't have to uh, pull all the bands out every time. So, any of you budding inventors out there, get thinking of a way. You can extract these. Oh, they're a bit tight. Right, I'm going to put the phone down and get this sorted. So, we got Peacock and Binnington here now to fix my JCB. But I still need to use it, that's the only problem. Damn. Well, we'll, get, we'll have to sort something out. So Andy from p and is going to be sorting his dodgy bonnet out. Yeah, just uh, making it a bit more twisted. <laughs> I've taken the twist out. There were a big gap at this side when you put your hand in, you get your hand inside. So we've got these adjustment things here. Back to level, instead of being far, far out. Sliders, is that what they're called? Yeah. Adjustment sliders. That's the one. Nice. Professional. Now we just have a bit of righty tighty and job should be a good one. So this was the issue we were having. You've not solved it yet, Andy. What's happening? Right. What? Other side is all right. Is all right. Yeah. <laughs> JCB. What a what a brand. So I've had to swap to mucking out on the 9 metre. Do not like using this one. Just not being able to see down that right hand side when I'm like mucking down the side of a wall. Nightmare. But Andy from p and just been over, just said, my tractor, well my tractor, my TM now is uh, all up and ready to go. So I'm gonna drop this bucket off and get back on TM. So we seem to have had a lot happening today with farm star turning up and fixing my mixer wagon. Uh, Peacock and Binnington that have just been and fixed this JCB's bonnet um, and he's going to come back as Andy because um, we've got a bit of play in the in the boom but he's going to shim that up, he's going to get that sorted in next next week. Um, all that mucking out we've done, um, all I need to do now is get a mix done, straw some cows up and feed them and then that's it, job done. Um, so I think I'm going to leave the video here, if that's alright with you guys. Um, if you like this sort of thing, please subscribe, um, please leave a comment, because we just love to hear what people's thoughts are on us videos, what they want to see next. Um, I know me and Em like looking through the, uh, through the comments and replying to people, so yeah, thanks a lot guys, thanks for subscribing, and we will see you probably tomorrow.